Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. I hope that you guys are doing good. In this video, we are going to see problem reveal cards in increasing order. So this problem simply says again, uh, I'll explain it in very short. It says that we can order the deck of cards. We are given some cards and the deck I can shuffle that in any order in the very beginning. And initially everything is unrevealed. I have to perform some steps. I will tell what are the steps and then. After these steps are performed, I have to return an ordering of the deck that would reveal the card in the increasing order. So basically, ultimately in the end, after performing these steps, the cards should be in the increasing order. What I mean by that is initially in the very beginning, you will be given some deck of cards. Now you have to perform something, some intermediate steps. Now they have mentioned what are these steps. Then ultimately in the end, you should be getting the cards in the increasing order. So what are these steps which are, which they have mentioned? They have mentioned that, okay, if you have some card, you will place it. Next card, you will place it in the end of this entire pattern or in, in this entire card. So you placed that in the end. Okay. Then again, you will place some card again. The next card, you will place it in the end. Okay, next card again you will place, next card again you will place it in the end. So this will again go in the end. So I am placing a card and whosoever is next immediate to him, I am placing that card in the end. This is the pattern which I have to follow. And remember, our ultimate aim is to get the final thing in the sorted order. So Aaron, what I have to return? Do I have to return this sorted order? No. If you had to return the sorted order, then you would have simply sorted it. But you have to return an ordering in after which you're performing, let's say, this pattern of steps. And ultimately, after this performing of pattern of steps, you will get this sorted order. So you have to return that specific ordering, which can be confusing because it is very interchangeably. Okay, like what is the ordering? What do you have to return? So let's take this example. As you can see, you are given these deck of cards and the answer is this. Now from answer itself, I will drive, okay, what you have to just figure out that, okay, how you will return this answer. So I will consider this answer as source of truth. So I consider this is the answer. And then ultimately, remember, you have to perform the steps which I have mentioned, okay, take, put the next one in the end, again, take, put the next one in the end, you have to perform these steps and ultimately get the entire deck of cards in the sorted order. So whatsoever pattern can give you that sorted order will be your answer. So considering this is the answer. Now let's see how this will give us the sorted order. So for sure, I will take this first one. I have taken it. Next one, I will put it in the end of whatsoever list I have right now. So if I take this, if I take this and if I show you, okay, 12, 13, 3, 11, 5, 17 and 7. So I took this two. Okay, I took the two. I put this 13 in the end. I took the 3. I took the 3. I put 11 in the end. I took the 5. I took the 5. I put 17 in the end. Again, you can see how I'm putting. Then I took the, again, let's, let's be consistent. Then I took the 7. Then I put 13. 13 in the end. Okay, 13 in the end is put. Then I took 11. 11. Then I put 17 in the end. Okay, 17 in the end. Then I took 13. 13 then I took 17 in the end 17 in the end then for sure remaining last is 17 thus as you can see I have achieved things in sorted order thus thus any pattern which can give me this any pattern which can give me this after performing the step take one put the next one immediately the next one in the end okay then take again next one then put again next one in the end take next one again put the next one in the end if you're performing this anything which can give you ultimately in the end as sorted that will be your answer as you can see i have also shows like showed as an uh, first steps how you can solve it so now you realize that this order after performing that steps will give you a sorted so you have to return that order after performing the steps it can become a sorted so you have to return that specific order itself now, for sure, uh, you might think, Aryan, how to do, what to do, what data structure to apply, all that stuff. Okay, don't think in that direction. Think of what you even saw, what you even saw, like what you were doing. Okay, let's say if I repeat the entire process and now I will repeat it slowly. So what you did, okay, if you just imagine that this was your answer. Okay, uh, but Aryan, answer, I have to build, no worries, no worries. 
but let's see what you are doing while while like getting okay to verify your answer was valid or not again what you are doing is very fine if your answer was valid or not because after applying the steps if your answer is sorted then your answer is valid if not then it is not valid so what you are doing to verify your answer you had your input string let's say 12 13 3 11 5 uh, 17 and 7 you were grabbing the first element again this is the entire array let's say it is an array or again it's a data structure to be a more holistic view so you are grabbing the first element from the data structure and then the next element again when you grab the first element you can just remove it and just put it in a new new data structure right and then the next element of the data structure which is again now the first element you are again removing that and putting that in the end of the data structure again now this is the new element of the data structure you are grabbing that new element and then putting it in a new data structure and then again grabbing the next element which is again the front element and then putting it again in the back of the data structure so what is the prime operation which you are performing and which data structure can perform this operation you were grabbing the front element of a data structure and then you were putting that in the end of the data structure what is that data structure which can perform this operation very efficiently it is q so we know okay we have an idea that maybe we can use q but we are not sure because this applying of operation on a data structure we applied it on the answer answer which is Aryan you are completely correct but I applied that on my answer I did not apply in my question to achieve my answer but I will say uh, you just had to tell if this answer was valid or not so this answer this answer can result me in the question provided question is sorted provided question is sorted so if I just get my deck if I sort this now imagine if I have my answer, imagine if I have my answer, then if I apply these steps, can't I get this question which is sorted? I can get it. So this Q operation which I showed you, which we can use, it is actually from answer getting the sorted question. This I will reverse it. From my sorted question, I can get this answer also. That is, again, we took stepwise. We took, okay, maybe we can use Q. But with Q, we realized, okay, we are from answer, we are validating if our answer, which we have found, which is this output array, which we have found, it is valid or not. And it is valid only when it is sorted in the increasing order. So now we have come to point that, okay, we have these array, which is sorted in our sense. This, as you can see, it is entirely sorted for us. Now, if this is entirely sorted, we know that, okay, I just put in the indexes. I have to build my output array. So what I did was maybe I can just apply the same pattern in the reverse direction. Let's see and let's dry run and let's see if it can work out or not. Now, um, I know that I should put this element to here. Again, let's imagine that this is my output array. I will put this element to here. Then I should actually leave this and I should put my three next at the next location make sense okay then i should leave this i should put my five in the next next location are in why are you leaving this i know i will leave this because this is the output array if this is the output array i know one thing for sure i will take this then i will put this in the end so ideally if things are sorted in the above direction i should put the sorted things in the gaps in the gaps i will be putting in so that because i know alternate i would be leaving and putting them in the end so ah yeah it makes sense makes sense so ideally Aryan, it is very easy that i will just simply skip i'll skip every element and then i'll put in the next index um technically it sounds okay but what if okay let's say you placed your number seven then what about the 11 will you place 11 here because now okay when these vacancies are filled now for next 11 the vacant location is this are you saying that you will put this 11 here by the fact you are just putting alternate look at the alternate locations this is what might feel correct but it might not be because your main aim was to follow the q pattern was to follow the q pattern here you are not following the q pattern so we have to make sure okay we are also following the q pattern how we will do that let's let's take with the indexes i know okay i know i will put in these indexes also and i know that at this index i will place these elements what we mean by that is if we have a zero i know the first first element will be placed at index zero 
Next, again, I will have to place all these elements in the sequence itself. But now this, this ID, which is kind of which we have represented, but I will take this ID elements in a form of a queue. In a form of a queue, I will take it and I will say, okay, at the zeroth index, I will place in two. Okay, now I have to place third element. I will not place at the index one. Index one, okay, put it in the end. Index one, put it in the end. Now place at the index two. Okay, index two, I'll place the element three. Okay, now again, this has gone. Next element, put it in the end. I am replicating the queue format. Okay, put it in the end. Now at index four, at index four, put the element five. Okay, element five, I'll put at index four. Again, this is done. Next element, put it in the end. Okay, put it in the end. 5 is gone here. Then at index 6, put the next element to 7. At index 6, I will put it in the next element 7. Okay, this is done. Put it next element, put it in the end. Okay, put it in the end. So you see, index 1 is not put it in the end. Next element is, next index is 3. Okay, at index 3, put the element 11. At the index 3, I will put the element 11. This, this is what you see that how my queue of indexes actually helping me to place my elements. And then again, oh, this is done. Next element, I'll put it in the end. Put it in the end. One, okay, place the next element for th 13. Okay, 13 I will place. Next element, put it in the end. Put it in the end. This is done, put it in the end. Now next last is five. Five, we have 17, put it at that location. And thus, this is my output array, which I wanted and thus, from my sorted questions array, I achieved my output array by simply using a queue. Now, although uh, in this kind of question, we also can solve it by, by two pointers because you can see it is just how my pointers are moving off one after the another, one after the another. But the most intuitive and the most optimal also is a queue. That is the reason I started off with the queue, pointed to the queue direction itself, and then showed you the queue approach itself. I did not go into two pointer approach because that is neither intuitive nor optimal cool now uh, coming on the code it's very simple that firstly if you remember i made the queue of indexes ids i made remember ids i made 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and i also sorted my questions which is deck so i will do one thing i will firstly sort my deck and i will push all the indexes in my queue as you can see i pushed all the indexes in my queue now when this thing is pushed i will go on to all of the sorted values because i know all these sorted values should be placed okay it should be placed should be placed I know that I will be placing them in the order itself, one after the another, but at what index it will come in, that will be decided by my front of the queue. What is the front of the queue at that moment? So I will use the front of the queue to decide at what index I should put that in my answer array, and I will just put that specific deck of i. Remember, deck of i, I'm going on in the order, and I'll go on at every sorted element one by one. And then, okay, for sure as I've used this index so I will just remove this index now the next index the next index I will simply have to firstly put that next index in the end of the queue I will grab the front front of the queue and I'll put that in the end of the queue end of the queue queue dot push will put in the end of the queue and I'll for sure remove that from the front but perform this operation only when you have a element in the queue. So I will perform this only if I have element in the queue. And then here also, I will just simply keep on moving. Ultimately, I will have all the elements removed and got the answer in my sorted array, which is the answer itself, which is which can give me a sorted array in the ultimate end after applying the operations in the, re in the reverse direction also. And thus you can see you are doing a simple sorting and simple queue dot push. So it will be O of n log n plus n, that will be O of n log n time and space will be O of n because again, uh, sorting will take log n space, but the Q will take O of n space, which can actually add up in your answer. That is how you can simply solve it. Again, this question is one of the best question I have seen so far in queues, which gives you how beautifully you can use queues. But again, it is very intuitive to see that Q is being applied, but the reverse also true for queues. That was the most interesting fact. Bye-bye.